Let us be upon our feet. Praise the Lord, I am finally on the covenant highway of life. Let us lift up our voices, worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Open your mouth and bless his holy name. Give him thanks, give him praise. The psalmist said, I was glad when they said unto me, come, let us go into the house of the Lord. And today we are in the house on the, of the Lord. Let us thank him. He has become our host today. He has prepared a banquet for us to partake in his presence today. Why don't you appreciate him? He has invited you into his presence so that you may experience fullness of joy. Because he says at his right hand side there are pleasures forevermore. Everything good is happening in your life today. Everything that is not in order, it is being corrected in this service. Today being the 10th day of our prayer and fasting season, we know that 10 connotes order. Everything that is out of order, this communion of today is going to rectify it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Me and you are going to experience perfection in this service he says, I will perfect all that concerns you in the name of Jesus Christ. Why don't you lift up your voice and acknowledge his goodness in your life? Acknowledge his hand upon this assembly. Bless his holy name because you can see his power at work in this commission. Acknowledge his might in our midst. Scripture has said the Lord our God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save Today again, we are going to see the salvation of God in your life and in my life and in the life of every member of this assembly in the name of Jesus Christ. What is your expectation? You did not come here to, re to go back the same. What is your expectation in this service? Go before the Lord and tell him, Father, I have come to you for a change of story. I have come to you for a change of story. I have come to you for a transformation. Everyone who encountered Jesus Christ did not remain the same. That woman with the issue of blood did not remain the same. Jairus' daughter did not remain the same. Even blind Bartimaeus did not remain the same. Therefore, you and me, as we encounter Jesus tonight in this service, none of us will remain the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, one more time, lift up your voices. Worship the Lord again. Give him glory. Give him praise. Thank him. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you have a testimony, please proceed to the hope and faith entrance. Have it documented for you to share at the right time. Put those wonderful hands there for Jesus as we welcome the covenant voices. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's be in the mood of worship as we sing unto him. For he is worthy. And we will say that you are good. And all the miracles you've done has brought us joy. And we have seen in all the hopes we have, we place in we
Jesus, thank you. Jehovah, thank you. Everybody say thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. We are saying thank you. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Everybody say thank you. We say Thank you, everybody say thank you, Jesus, thank you, thank you. Here we are saying thank you, thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you, we thank you. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's put our wonderful hands together and take our seats in God's presence. Hallelujah. Very shortly, we'll be rising up in this service to take prayer number one. And we'll be praying in this manner, saying, Father, thank you for drafting great multitudes into our services last Sunday and for granting every worshiper a lifetime encounter by your word. Amen. And we're taking our anchor scripture from John chapter 6, verse 44. No man can come to me except the Father which had sent me draw him, and I will raise him at the last day. With this understanding, let's be on our feet as we open our mouth saying, Father, thank you for drafting great multitudes 
into our services last Sunday and for granting every worshiper a lifetime encounter by your word. In the name of Jesus, Father, thank you for drafting great multitudes into our services last Sunday and for granting every worshiper a lifetime encounter by your word. In the name of Jesus, the Bible said it's a good thing to give thanks unto God, to therefore open your mouth and give God thanks. Father, thank you for drafting great multitudes into our services last Sunday and for granting every worshiper a lifetime encounter by your word. In the name of Jesus, as we thank God, we are registering for more. Let's thank God, Father, thank you for drafting great multitudes into our services last Sunday and for granting every worshiper a lifetime encounter by your word. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we acknowledge that no one can come unless you draw. Therefore, Lord, we are saying thank you. Thank you for drafting great multitudes into our services last Sunday and for granting every worshiper an encounter of a lifetime by your word. In the name of Jesus, Father, thank you for drafting great multitudes into our services last Sunday and for granting every worshiper a lifetime encounter by your word. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for those that you brought here for the first time. We thank you, O oh God, for those that you caused to return to church. Lord, we thank you for the multitude that you brought into our service, Lord, last Sunday. And Lord, we thank you for granting every worshiper a lifetime encounter by your word. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for ministering to the needs of everyone attendee at our last Sunday services. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, O God, for the encounter of a lifetime. O God, that changed, O God, the story of every worshiper. O God, at our last Sunday services, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for drafting great multitudes into our services last Sunday and for granting every worshiper a lifetime encounter by your word. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says that one leper, he returned with a loud voice, glorifying God. Therefore, let's return tonight with a loud voice, saying, Father, thank you for drafting great multitudes into our services last Sunday and for granting every worshiper a lifetime encounter by your word. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for a lifetime encounter that will be speaking for generations to come. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for a lifetime encounter. Oh God, that will be forever. Lord, that there will be no reversal. There will be no return, oh God, to the status quo. Lord, we thank you for granting every worshiper a lifetime encounter by your word. Oh God, that the testimonies of that will be hearing, oh God, for months to come. In the name of Jesus, raise your hands, raise your voices, and say, Father, we thank you. We give you praise, we give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Let's put our hands together as we take our seats in God's presence. Surely once again in this midweek service, we shall be rising as we pray. And when we rise up, we will say, Father, instantly heal everyone called sick in the winner's family and restore them to perfect health. Shout a believing amen. The Bible speaks in the book of Matthew 8, 17. It says that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. With this understanding, why don't you rest your feet tonight, lifting up your voice and saying, Father, instantly heal everyone caused sick in the winner's family and restore them to perfect health in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe this prayer, lift up your voice tonight and pray. Say, Father, instantly heal everyone caused sick in the winner's family and restore them to perfect health in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we pray tonight, instantly heal everyone, cause sick in the winner's family 
and restore them to perfect health in the mighty name of Jesus. Instant healing, instant healing, instant healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone caused sick in the winner's family. We pray for instant healing tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, also restore them to perfect health in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice tonight, praying, saying, Father, instantly heal everyone caused sick in the winner's family and restore them to perfect health in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for instant healing tonight. We pray for instant healing tonight. We pray for instant healing tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Instantly heal everyone caused sick in the winner's family. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And this night, restore them to perfect health in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice wherever you are tonight praying. Saying, Father, instantly heal everyone caused sick in the winner's family and restore them to perfect health in the mighty name of Jesus. Himself took our infirmities. Himself took our infirmities. Himself took our infirmities in the mighty name of Jesus. Instantly heal everyone caused sick in the winner's family this very night, Father God, and restore them to perfect health in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray, saying, Father, instantly heal everyone caused sick in the winner's family and restore them to perfect health in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, instant healing tonight, instant healing this very moment, instant healing tonight, instant healing this night, instant healing this night, in the mighty name of Jesus, restoration to perfect health, restoration to perfect health, restoration to perfect health, in the mighty name of Jesus, instantly heal everyone caused sick in the winner's family, this very moment, in the mighty name of Jesus, you already took our infirmities, Therefore, instantly heal everyone caused sick in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for perfect restoration. We pray for perfect restoration. We pray for perfect restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Instant healing tonight. Instant healing tonight. Instant healing tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, you took our infirmities. Therefore, instantly heal everyone caused sick in the winner's family tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Instant healing tonight. Instant healing tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody that believes God, I heard your prayer. Lift up your voice and give him all the glory. Father God, we thank you for the instant healing. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' glorious name, have you prayed. Put your one up hands together for living God. You may take your seats. Amen. Brethren, shortly we'll be upstanding to take intercession number three. And we shall be praying in this manner. Father, clear off all barriers standing against the full delivery of the 2023 Covenant Highway prophetic agenda in all aspects of this commission. Can I hear you sounding? Amen. We are drawing strength from 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. For a great door and effectual is opened unto me, and there are many adversaries. With this understanding, brethren, join me on your feet this evening. Lift up your voice, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, clear off all barriers standing against the full delivery of the 2023 Covenant Highway prophetic agenda in all aspects of this commission. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are praying this evening as a church, Lord, asking you to clear off all barriers standing against the full delivery of the 2023 Covenant Highway prophetic agenda in all aspects of this commission. Lord, no aspect will be left, O oh Lord, untouched, Lord, by your power in the name of Jesus clear of all barriers, standing against the full delivery of the 2023 Covenant Highway prophetic agenda in all aspects of this commission, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are praying this evening, oh Lord, oh, as a church, where you say we are two or three are gathered together in your name, you are in our midst, and Lord, we know you are here to answer our prayer Devil Father, clear of all barriers, standing against the full delivery of the 2023 Covenant Highway Prophetic Agenda in every aspect of this commission. Lord, this commission will move from glory to glory, 
from strength to strength, even as by your spirit. Therefore, Lord, we are calling upon you in the name of Jesus. Lord, every barrier on the way, Lord, clear them, O oh Lord. For Lord, you are the God that breaks asunder the bars of our yard, O oh Lord. Therefore, Father, in the name of Jesus, Clear of all barriers, standing against the full delivery of the 2023 Covenant Highway Prophetic Agenda. In all aspects of this commission, brethren, lift up your voice and begin to give him praise. Begin to give him glory. Lord, we thank you. Lord, for all barriers will be cleared. No barrier will be left, O oh Lord. We will assume, O oh Lord. Lord, we will take delivery of every aspect of this commission, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, we thank you. We give you praise because you have cleared of every barrier. Lord, we celebrate you and we we'll worship you this evening. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. For in Jesus' most glorious name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Put your beautiful hands together for Jesus, and you may take your seats. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is announcement time, following by testimonies. Praise the Lord. You are welcome to this midweek fast fasting and prayer service in the name of Jesus. The, the Holy Ghost shall continue to strengthen every one of us with might in the inner man, thereby empowering us to prevail on the altar of prayer all through this 21 days prayer and fasting and all through the year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Covenant hour of prayer. Covenant hour of prayer holds from Monday through Saturday this week here in WCI Washington. We are all expected to be part of this gathering for our spiritual growth and development and to sustain the revival fire burning in our midst. Please note, time for Monday through Friday is 5.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. and time for Saturday is 9 a.m. Please be informed that all Shiloh messages are on flash drives. Also, there are messages from our previous Shiloh gatherings for your edification. Visit any of the Dominion bookstores to obtain yours. Take advantage of the various books available at Dominion Bookstore Online to build your faith. The books are available both electronically and print form at www.dominiononlinestore.org and Amazon and Apple bookstores. Prayer and fasting. Our annual prayer and fasting continues tomorrow, January 19 to January 29, 2023. We shall be meeting daily to break the fast every evening. Everyone is admonished to engage with this prophetic season of opportunity. Expect a full delivery of the covenant highway order of testimony this year in Jesus' name. Time is 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. The following are exempt from the fasting. Those with health challenges and on medications, pregnant women and nursing mothers, the aged among our senior citizens. However, Senior citizens who desire to partake of the fast based on their strengths are advised to make it to the time of their choice. All these categories of members here listed are still encouraged to engage the altar of prayer personally and attend prayer meetings. Intercessory prayer guidelines. All our intercessory prayer guidelines, such as personal spiritual awakening, supernatural church growth, church membership, new converts retention, towards fruitful outreach, release of life-transforming word, shall be posted on our family WhatsApp page. The 2023 car and door stickers shall soon be available. Believers Foundation Class. Please be informed that the BFC is suspended until after the Friday, of, after the prayer and fasting period. Water baptism. If you have not been baptized in water by immersion since you believe, Please do well to document your names to with ushers at the Hope and Faith entrance so arrangements can be made after the prayer and fasting period to get you baptized. Good news! Next Sunday at WCI Washington, the 22nd of January, 2023, shall be the second in the series of our prophetic release service. 
Every dry bone area of our lives shall bounce back to life. Every kind of grave that may be holding anyone bound shall be opened and we shall usher into our promised land as it is written in Ezekiel 37, 12. Come expecting definite encounters with the prophetic word. Come along with your family members, friends, and other loved ones. Be sure not to miss this service. Time is 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. However, all workers are to be in church for workers' meeting and prayer. The time is 9 a.m. to 9.20 a.m. Winners Satellite Fellowship. Our WSF Fellowship holds every Saturday. Everyone is admonished to be part of this fellowship in their designated cell. Remember, we shall also be praying for one another. Invite a neighbor to partake of this fellowship time. Don't miss this for anything. Time is 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Expect continuous inflow of testimonies into your homes from henceforth. Amen. Special date. Annual Liberation Service Week is Saturday, May 6, 2023. Sanctuary etiquette. You are reminded to mute all cell phones and know that chewing of gum, eating and drinking is not allowed in the sanctuary. Jesus is Lord. Praise the Lord. It is testimony time. Praise the Lord. Let's welcome the following. Deacon Ajiri, Brother Brian, and Ingrid. As they come, let's keep, clap for, let's keep clapping for Jesus, your name, and what the Lord has done for you. Praise the Lord. My name is Deacon Ajiri Estalomi. Um, I've come to return all the glory to God of this donation to the UK to fulfill. Um, I relocated to the U.S last November, and I think a few months into November, my company announced some form of um, layoffs, and then we thought that was it, and then in December, there was a leak, and there was like more layoffs coming up in January, um, and I thought, oh my God, this is stressing, because I don't know where I'm going to end up, okay, um, in that manner, and I have, I'd also just recruited a few people into my team, and I thought, also, there was no way I was going to lose those people um, in that way and had somebody starting on Monday. So I was praying for myself for the past, like, few weeks. But this week, I was more like, God, no one in my team is going. Everyone is going to stay and remain. And today was the day when the announcement was made. And I thank God that everyone in my team, no one was affected. But also, I've been believing God that even in this season, when others are being cast down, for me, there's a lifting up. So my boss went on leave for, like, two weeks um, in December. So I had to deal with his boss. Um, over that period, and there were just a lot of escalations and issues. And my boss came back to the office for the first time today, and it, we met up, and it was like, oh, well done for holding the fort and dealing with my boss and all that stuff. So I give God all the credit for that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can I please have Brother Brian? Sister Igrid, can you please come up? What the name, your name and what the Lord has, do, has done for you. Uh, praise the Lord. My name is uh, Brian, and um, I've been here to this church for last year in May. I got into an accident, and I went to the hospital. So I had outstanding medical bills for them, and um, the insurance were going back and forth on who's going to cover the bill, on who should cover the bill. And so I prayed, and um, today I was in a call with the collection agency that was responsible. They told me not to worry about them. They said they sent me the the bill has been settled, and I give glory to God. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Your name and what the Lord has done for you. Um, my name is Ingrid Mwansa. I'm from Ghana. Um, I've been in the States almost a year now, and I've been looking for a church. The church I go to back home is affiliated with Winners Chapel, but it's not in Ghana. So I came to Seattle about... September, and I started looking for Winner's Chapel, and for some reason, I couldn't find it. I'd go on Google, you know, I'd look everywhere, and I'd find other churches except this one. And then finally, I said, look, God, I cannot continue to go to church on the internet. I mean, thank God for the internet, but I need to be in the house of God and fellowship with, um, with people. So he made it possible that on a particular weekend, I was, I don't know what happened, but I found this church on Google, okay? And um, so that Sunday, 
I work, and normally on weekends I can't come to church, so I'll never be here unless God decides that I need to come to church. But anyway, so that particular Sunday, it was possible for me to come to church. And I, I was driving, and I came here after the service was supposed to be off. And I got into here, and at least you, know, you had um, children's performing, I think. So I came in, somebody welcomed me, and I was like, oh, thank God, at least I found a church. And then I found out that there's Wednesday service. So I said, okay, so my Sunday is going to be Wednesday service. So that was one issue taken care of. When I came in, I had a very heartbreaking situation. Um, my ex-husband was very, very ill, and I came in here with a heavy burden and with strong belief that he was going to be healed and God was going to make it worth, you know, and make it possible despite what we were seeing and what the doctor's report was. And I really, really believed that. Um, God decided otherwise, and he, he took him... Um, he took him home on December 27th. But before that, um, we ensured that he made a transition into um, eternity. You know, we spoke to him. My daughter back home, I kept telling her, you need to talk to your father. You need to talk to your father. We have to make sure that you meet with your father. And I had a dream about two days before he died. Before that, I was heavily troubled, and I kept praying, but I was anxious all the time. And then on a particular night, I, you know, I couldn't sleep, so I woke up and I was praying, and then God told me to go to the hospital and I had to go to the hospital. So, and as soon as I heard that voice, I felt the Holy Spirit come to me, you know, because before that I was like, maybe it's my head, maybe it's my mind, but when God told me to go, I just sat up and I began to pray. And then I had a dream that I was with God and I was with God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's thank God for all these testimonies, and you shall be next to testify in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Very shortly, we're rising up to take prayer number four. I'll be praying this man and saying, Father, we decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church so they can be established in the faith and this church for life. Amen. And our anchor scripture is from Joel chapter 2, verses 25 to 26. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Amen. Without understanding, let's be on our feet as we pray. Father, we decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church. So they can be established in the faith and this church for life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church, so they can be established in the faith and this church for life in the name of Jesus. Let's travel, let's prevail in prayer for our new converts as we pray, saying, Father, we decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church, so they can be established in the faith and in this church for life in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree supernatural restoration of, for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church so they can be established in the faith and in this church for life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus speaking said, whatever you decree on it shall be, de can be established. So therefore, open your mouth and decree right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, we decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts of all they may have lost before joining this church so they can be established in the faith and this church for life. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration of their joy. Let there be restoration of their peace. Let there be restoration of their destinies. Let there be the restoration of their health. Restoration of their jobs. Restoration of their families. Restoration in every area of their life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree supernatural restoration for all our new converts 
of all they may have lost before joining this church so they can be established in the faith and in this church for life. In the name of Jesus. You can pray that prayer now in the Spirit. Lord, we thank you. Lift your hands and say thank you, Lord, because God has heard us. Concerning our new converts to be testimony galore, testimonies of restoration. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Let's put our hands together as we take our seats in God's presence. Surely once again we shall be rising as we pray. When we rise up, we're saying, Father, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all throughout this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner. Shall they believe in amen? The Bible is speaking in the book of Acts 20, verses 32, and says, And now, brethren, I commend you to God and the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. With this understanding, why don't you rise to your feet tonight, lifting up your voice and saying, Father, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all throughout this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner. Lift up your voice tonight and pray, saying, Father, Continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all throughout this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word of grace, O oh Lord, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all throughout this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice wherever you are tonight, praying, saying, Father, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all throughout this year, that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of his grace is able to give you an inheritance. Therefore, lift up your voice and pray, saying, Father, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all throughout this year, that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner in the mighty name of Jesus. Send us the reign of your word of grace all throughout this year. That word that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word of grace, O Lord, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all throughout this year. That word that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word of grace, O Lord, your word of grace, O Lord, all throughout this year. That word that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of his grace is able to build you up. The word of his grace is able to give you an inheritance. Therefore, lift up your voice tonight and say, Father, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all throughout this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner in the mighty name of Jesus, your word of grace, all throughout this year. That word that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner in the mighty name of Jesus. Now lift up your voice, begin to give him all the glory. Father God, we thank you for your word of grace. We thank you for the inheritance of every winner. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' glorious name have we prayed. Put your wonderful hands together for living God. You may take your seats. Amen. In a moment, we'll be up on our feet to pray. Prayer number six that says, Father, we destroy the gates of hell, seeking to resist the invasion of multitudes into our various assemblies or through the year 2023. Can I hear believing? Amen. We are praying according to Matthew 16, 18. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Let us be upon our feet and open our mouths wide and pray, Father, we destroy the gates of hell, seeking to resist the invasion of multitudes into our various assemblies all through the air. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are praying that in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, the gates of hell uh, seeking to resist uh, the invasion of multitudes into our various assemblies, we decree them destroyed. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, we decree every resistance uh, against the invasion of multitudes of souls uh, into our churches, into our various assemblies all throughout the year. Lord, those gates of hell, uh, Lord, they are lifted up. Uh, 
in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we decree that the gates of hell that seek to resist the invasion of multitudes into our various assemblies all through the year 2023, those gates of hell are destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray. Are you praying? He's Jesus Christ is the master builder. He says, upon this rock, I will build my church. He is the very one who is building every church in this commission. And the gates of hell have no permission to prevail unless you give them permission. The gates of hell have no permission to prevail against the expansive growth of this church, against the multitudes coming unto the various assemblies all throughout the year. Unless you give the gates of hell permission, he has given you, uh, he says in Luke 21, 30, 15, I have given you a wisdom and a tongue by which your enemy cannot resist you, nor can say you. Le toso ko braga diyate, e kraka diyasoka, le kotoko. We forbid the gates of hell to resist the flow of multitudes into our various assemblies all throughout this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, le toso ko braga now lift up your voice, thank him, give him glory, give him praise. He has heard your supplication and he has answered this prayer speedily. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Put those wonderful hands together for Jesus and take your seat. Brethren, it's personal supplication time. It's time to go before the Lord. And place your demands. You have prayed kingdom advancement prayer. And now is the opportunity to present your case to him. You don't need to beat about the bush. Hit the nail at the head. Jesus asked blind Bartimaeus, what do you want? He said, that I may receive my sight. And that's what he got. And therefore, in Jeremiah 29, 12, he said, then you will call on me. And come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. So he said he will listen. So it's not like I may listen. It's an assurance that he's listening. Therefore, you can take any position you want, but what you will not do is close your mouth. He said, as you say it in my ears, so will I do. You have eight minutes to go before the Lord and present your case. You know where the shoe is pinching you most.
Brethren, pressing, don't be weary. Pressing, don't be weary. Lift up your voice and call upon him. Brethren, let's be up on our feet. Begin to give him thanks. Begin to give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Let your praise over your demands ascend to him a sweet smelling savor. Give him thanks because you know that he is a God that answers prayer. Give him thanks because you are sure that that your prayers has been answered and that the answer has been released already. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and all the glory. Blessed be your holy name for testimonies. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed and received. Put your wonderful hands together for Jesus and you may take your seat. In today's midweek service, it's offering time. Please package your tithes, your offerings, and any other financial commitment you have for God and his kingdom. Ushers are coming up the aisle. They will hand you an envelope as you raise your hand. Also, we have ways to give, text to give, and also giving by church pad app for those who are giving electronically. Let us receive instruction from this scripture in Luke 638 as we prepare to give. Give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured unto you again. Let us remember, although it is leaving your hand, it is not leaving your life. Every giving you give to God and his kingdom, it will leave your hand, yes, but it will never leave your life. That is why it says, give and it shall be given to you. It shall be given back to you. Please rise up on your feet with those offerings. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank him in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people today. Father, we know that every time we release seed into good ground, it shall give us bumper harvest. Father, I pray as your people have released what you have given unto them and told them to give, oh God. Father, I pray that it shall return to them in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please take your seat. Cast your seed with joy as we welcome the covenant voices.
Hallelujah. Amen. Let's begin to give God thanks. Worshiping Him, blessing His name for strength that He had given us, for victory that we have obtained again today. Lord, we thank you for the testimonies, O oh Lord, that have been shared here as a witness to your faithfulness. Lord, we bless your name. Father, we thank you. We bless your name in Jesus' name. We are praying. Today is day number 10. And 10 represent perfection and completion. I want you to go before God and begin to pray. Lord, perfect that which concerns me. The work of my hands, my family, my health, my marriage. In what area do you need perfection? In your business? This year is ordained for quantum leap. Order of turn around. Perfect that which concerns me, O oh Lord. Thank you for where I am. Oh Lord, the God of completion, perfect that which concerns me. Lord, we bless you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you for light that has been breaking forth since the beginning of these 21 days. Prayer and fasting, this is 10 days of light. You have been illuminating us. You have been empowering us. Lord, another dose of your word is coming again that will strengthen us and deliver our inheritances even in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, write through my lips and declare your word with power and majesty. And at the end of it, we vow to return all the glory to you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? Even as we take your seats in God's presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The prophetic theme for the month is prayer and fasting empowers for dominion. Prayer and fasting empowers for dominion. Anytime you want to change level in the school of the spirit, one of the key that you engage to advance from one level of glory to another is the mystery of prayer and fasting. And we'll continue our studies in engaging the wonders of specific demand on the prayer altar. For, for prayer to be beneficial, for prayer to be a blessing to you, it must be specific. Praise the Lord. It must be specific. You cannot be generic with God. Hallelujah. If you look at the work of creation, every day he speaks to something specific. That is the order of creation. Let there be light. Let, let there be earth. Let there be this. And that was how he continued until he made man. He always had been specific. If you want to see it come to pass, then you must be specific in your dealing with God. Once you discover God's pattern, don't change it. Adhere to it because God never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. One of the benefits that we get in the place of prayer and fasting is divine guidance. Amen. Say with me, divine guidance. Divine guidance. In Psalm 32, verse 8, technical. Psalm 32, verse 8. He said, For I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. So not every way is the way. Not every place is the place. When God asked for the sacrifice of Isaac, there were many mountains between where 
from where he was to where he ought to be sacrificed. It took him three days until he sighted the correct mountain. One of the things that is available to us as believers is the ability to be divinely guided. He said, I will instruct thee. I will give you instruction. I've never seen a pilot without the instructional manual flying a plane. And then I will teach you the way so that there is a way that seemed right unto a man. And the end is dead so that you will not be caught in a trap. Praise the Lord. He said, I will teach you the way which thou you should go. And I will guide you with my eye. So that you will see what I'm seeing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you will not be a victim of the wicked. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Isaiah chapter 58 verse 6. And then we'll go to verse 11. Isaiah 58 6. It says, is not this the fast that I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness? to undo heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. He says in verse 11, he says, and the Lord shall guide thee out continually. He will guide thee continually. So, that he guided, he gave you instruction for his last year. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It does not mean that when you get to the end of the road, and there is quietness. Wait there. When God is silent, it means stop. When you pray and ask questions and you don't hear any response, it does not mean go. It simply means wait. It's that simple. It's not complex. So people say, ah, I pray, pray, I don't hear anything. Okay, let's, let's try this. You bring this one, you try, you bring that one, you try. Which one is better, you know, and then you enter. Once you do that, the enemy got you. Every time God is silent, don't ever forget this. It never means continue, it means stop. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said the Lord will guide thee how? Continually. And if you follow that guidance, he said he will satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones and thou shall be like a well water, like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose water fail not. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. When God is guiding you, everything that you need and every face is waiting for you there. Ezra demanded divine direction through prayer and fasting, and God granted it. So that divine direction is, one, how you get it is through the altar of prayer. Amen? Ezra demanded it, and he got it. The Bible says, Ezra chapter 8, verse 21 and 23 to 23, he said, then I proclaim a fast there. When he got to the junction, where he didn't know what to do. He stood there. They have already left himself, his wife, and their children. They are on the journey already. And they go to a place where the thing has become dicey. He doesn't know what to do. Praise the Lord. What did Ezra did? He stopped. Proclaim a fast. He said, then I proclaim a fast at the river Ahava. He has already left where he was going. Praise the Lord. He said, that we may afflict ourselves before our God to seek of him a right way for us. The right way is his way. For my ways are not your ways. Neither have I taught your thoughts. He said to seek of him a right way for us and for our little ones and for all our substance. For I was ashamed to inquire of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy in the way. There is always an enemy on the way. For a great and effectual door has been opened unto me, but they are what? Many adversaries. Because why? We have spoken unto the king. We have boasted to the king saying, The hand of our God is upon all them for good that seek him. But his power and his rod is against all them that forsake him. Praise the Lord. 
So we fasted and besought our God for this. And the Bible said what? And he was entreated of us. In other words, he answered us. That will be, this, this year will be the best year for you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I thank God for the testimonies that you, are, you have. But it will be nothing compared to what you will see this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I mean, I'm not saying it just to make your head big. I'm saying it because of what I've seen. Praise the Lord. God will be doing strange things in our midst. In the name of Jesus. From strange places where you least expect. That is where testimonies will come out that will humble all of us. In the name of Jesus Christ. David demanded direction from the Lord for victory over the battles around him. And God granted him. The reason why David never lost a battle in his life. Because he is a man of divine direction. Because this, 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 this thing, every time I read this, 1 Samuel 30, 6 to 9, I scratch my head. You have soldiers. You are the one that is paying their salary. You are the one that is feeding them. And then when you took them to go and look for food for their family, the enemy came and attacked. And attacked. The enemy took their families, their children, including your own family, your wife, your children, everybody is gone. Your family, you don't have it. Their own, they don't, then they turn against you. All these years of service, they forgot. And they pick up stone to cast on him. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6, it says, And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his son and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Why the stones were ready to fly, the army, his own armies, turned against him. That was what made Saul to capitulate and turn his back against God. You don't know how, you know, strong you are until when you get to a place. You say you're a man of, when everybody turns against you, and you still stand, then you're a man of strength. Because many people will fall there. Many will compromise. Many, many will change their, their, their language. When they see everybody turn against them, they say, ah, the voice of people is the voice of, the voice of God. It's a lie. That is the devil's uh, listen. Hallelujah. One with God is majority. The entire army turned against God, but David with God on his side. They flip the thing around. The Bible says in verse 7, And David said to Abiathar the high priest, You see a wise man, a Himelech son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. And Abiathar brought hither the ephod for to David. And David inquired at the Lord. He inquired at the Lord at the course of his life. When everybody is against him. He inquired at the Lord, saying, shall I pursue after this troop? Imagine, they carry my wife, carry my children. Many people have left churches because of somebody touched their wives. Somebody touched their children, they left. But David, his fear for God was so complete that even that, because if you touch a man's wife, you have touched him. If you touch a man's family, you have touched him. But David would not move without the voice of God. He said, shall I pursue them? In other words, if God had said no, that would have been their end. Don't tell you how serious it is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, shall I pursue this troop? After this troop, shall I overtake them? And he answered him, pursue. For thou shalt surely overtake and without fail, recover all. That is the, you see, every time you see a man victorious because he builds his life on the word. You take every step on the word. If anything goes wrong, you can say, ah, no, 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 no. Ah, Lord, the last, you told me this. This one, it is, this is what you say. Every time you have the word of God, you can always hold him. Because the word of God can never be broken. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Whatever he will cause you, pursue him. Let him speak. And the rest will be history. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. David went after them. Recover all. And to tell you the type of heart that he has. When they recover everything, they share the booty among him and the troops equally. He didn't go and say, ah, these people, are not, I don't trust them again. No. Hey, these people, they went, ah, these people, what, what they did to me. Ah, last year, ah, see what I did for them. See what I did. See what they, that wasn't what David did. Those men that wanted to stone him, they became the mighty men of David today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A man of grace. Hallelujah. Every time I look at that man, I, it's like I'm going back to school again. I say, God, give me this type of heart. Hallelujah. In 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 18 to 20, 21, the Bible says, when the Philistines came to attack the garrison of the army of Israel, the Bible says the Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Will thou deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said unto David, Go up, for I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thy hand. And David, you know, moved because God says so. And the end is victory. You are a general. You took your troops to the war front. And the strategy is that you will go and kneel down and be talking to a person that nobody sees. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, after that one, the Philistines came up yet again the second time and spread themselves in the valley of Raphael. And when David inquired of the Lord, he said, thou shall not go up. So, if he told you, if David had taken God for granted, because he told him, go up yesterday. And today, when they came again, he said, ah, we know you, you make a system out of what God told you yesterday. So, ah, you, are not, you told us to go up. So, you went up again. You will, you will have ended up coming down. But God told him that, Lugo, I'm not up there, I'm down here. It is where God is, that is where the victory is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not what, what the world is saying or what the situation is saying. If God is down, then down is up for me. Praise the Lord. And up is down. He said, no, don't go up this time around. I'm not there. I'm down here. Praise the Lord. He said, thou shalt not go up, but fetch a compass behind them. Go behind and come upon them over against the mulberry tree. And let it be that when thou hearest the sound of a going in the tops of the mulberry tree, that then thou shalt be stirred thyself. For then shall the Lord go out for thee. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The secret to perpetual victory is always Always bring the things that God is interested in every detail of your life and my life. There is no area of your life that is too small for him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The two blind men of Jericho demanded specifically for recovery of their sight because they heard the story of blind Bartimaeus. That when he came to Jesus and then uh, he was crying for mercy, for mercy, Jesus said, what do you want me to do for you? So when he told Jesus that I may receive my sight, praise the Lord. So when they heard that testimony, they too, when, they are, when Jesus came to their own city, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 20, verse 30 to 34, and behold, two blind men sitting by the way, wayside, when they heard that Jesus passed by cried out saying, have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. And the multitude rebuked them the same way they did to blind Bartimaeus because they should hold their peace. For they cried the more saying, have mercy on us. The same way they, uh, uh, 
encountered about Tibion's house. The people were there, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. Don't talk. Papa said, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. If they had closed their mouth, that would have been the end. They would have died blind. Praise the Lord. But they kept crying. They kept crying. They kept crying. And Jesus stood still. Just as Jesus will be standing still for somebody today. In the name of Jesus. And called them and said, What will ye that I should do unto you? And they say unto him. As soon as they came before him, the thing changed. We want our eyes back. So there's no need to ask them where this is. As soon as they came before him, the cry for mercy ended. What do you want? He said, our eyes. Praise the Lord. He said, Lord, that our eyes may be open. So Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes and immediately their eyes received sight and they also follow him. Just as somebody's eyes, sight will be open today. I don't mean physical eye. You, you know, a lot of us have physical eye, but spiritually blind. As you partake of today's communion, everything that makes you to be spiritually blind, that scale will fall off your eye today. In the name of Jesus Christ. One of our heritage redemption is eyes that sees, ears that hears, a heart that understands. Praise the Lord. It is given unto us. It is ours as children of the Most High God. Prayer pattern taught by Christ was made up of specific. See the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. This is how he taught them to pray. In Matthew 6, 9 to 13, he said, After this manner, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That is worship and thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. Then, he said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. That is Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you. Then, the next thing for their bread, give us this day our daily bread. Just as we have prayed kingdom of us when prayer, whatever we need pertaining to life and godliness, in the name of Jesus Christ, it is released into your hands. If you need it for life, if you need it for godliness, if you need it to fulfill your destiny, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree it release into your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. No other word, in any area where I've come short, Lord, forgive me. Me too, I'm forgiving others. Praise the Lord. And lead us not into temptation. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He said, don't play with the devil. I'm telling you, there are some temptations that you better don't enter. No. Because when the devil came to see Peter, he crashed. It was mercy that brought him back. That's why Jesus, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from what? From the evil one. Because thy is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. However, the prayer of prayer that pays the most is the kingdom priority prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, the other ones are personal prayers. But the one that pays the most, that gives you reward, that if you engage it, sometimes 10 years from today, you will still be reaping the harvest. Is what? Kingdom advancement prayers. He said, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, Matthew 6, 6, pray to thy father which is in heaven, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee how openly. And in verse 33, he said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. What is a prayer item that someone could pray for for six months, for one year, for two years, for three years, your own will be addition. When you make the will of God number one. 
Because in his will, there is no need for you. In his will, your provision is there. In his will, your protection is there. In his will, you know, there is direction for you. Look, let me tell you, everything that you need is embedded inside his will. So when you discover his will for your life, you become untouchable. What brings others down cannot bring you. You can bring you down. You'll be in a place where they are firing people, just like we heard today. You know, the man was not even praying for himself. He began to pray for his team members. And every one of them was rescued because of one man. You become a shield around other people. The best place that you ever be is in his will. Praise the Lord. You will never have to say, for the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I'm not saying that the Lord, my God, will meet all your needs. No. When God is the one that is directing you, there is no want. You need a car. But you may want a BMW. Seven series. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You need a car, but you may want a, what do you, Lexus. Tesla or something. You know, you need, what you need and what you want are two different things. But when God is your shepherd, those wants, then you just, you just say, ah, hi, I would love this. I like this to do. And before you get somebody comes, ah, God says, I should give you this one. That thing only happens at the center of his way. And you are entering there. It is not for pastors alone. You hear me? It is not for, I'm telling you, it is not. If everyone that discovers God's place for his life will enter into that realm. I see you all entering there. I see you all operating from there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ was praying the same statement for whole one hour per time and did that for three hours saying the same thing. When he was praying for about his death, you know, he was a one line prayer repeating the same thing over and again. He would go pray and pray the same prayer, go and rest, come back and pray the same prayer. Like the way we have our prayer um, items listed on the card. We pray it today. We come back later in the evening. We pray it. We come back tomorrow morning. We pray it. We are, you are pressing it in. Praise the Lord. You are pressing it in. We must therefore stay focused on the prayer altar because much speaking is not a factor for answers prayer. He said, but when you pray, use not vain reputation as the hidden do. Father, come, 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 come. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, all those things. Praise the Lord. He said, for the thing that they shall be heard, for they are more speaking. This is how Jesus did it. Matthew chapter 26, verse 40 and 44. And he cometh unto the disciples and found them asleep and said unto Peter, What? Could you not watch with me for one hour? In verse 44. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this church winners chapel international Washington express four quantum leap order of testimony as you declare unto your servant the apostle over this commission. Praise the Lord. That is one line prayer. You can remember it. You can repeat it. You can even when driving, you can pray it. When even lying down on your bed, you can pray it. Praise the, it's not that complex. Let the wind of the Holy Ghost blow across our harvest field all throughout Washington State, drafting multitude into this assembly, even in the name of Jesus Christ. The testimony we heard today, she heard about the church in Google. Praise the Lord. There are many people like that that are looking for the church, but they can't find it. The enemy had veiled it. As you pray, the veil is taken away. 
and they'll begin to find it and they'll begin to come in and your reward will be released even in the name of Jesus Christ. We must continue to engage our city routing God towards the actualization of the four level dimension of growth in our churches this year. The Bible says in Acts of the Apostles chapter 8, verse 4 to 8, Therefore they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. They went where? Everywhere preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the verse 6, And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. In verse 7, he said, For unclean spirit, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed of them. And many taken with palsies, and that were lame, were healed. And there was great joy in that city. That city was captured. Just as God was, he has empowered us to take over Everett, to take over Seattle, to take over Washington State, to take over U.S., to take over North and South America. Every city. See, there is no one city that is too difficult for them. The Lord, our God, gave them all. Praise the Lord. Our God is a city taking God. In Acts of the Apostles 13 verse 44, he said, And the next Sabbath day came how almost the whole city to hear the word of God. The word of God that was preached last Sunday. When the people were leaving, they said, This word that we, you are preaching, don't change it. We are coming back next Sunday again to hear the same word. So he was preaching what they have already heard. He was not preaching anything new. He said the whole city came together to hear what they have already heard. That is the God that we serve. And that is the grace that is available in this season. And I see the city taking God, walking in our territory, drafting multitude into this assembly. I see him decorating the life of himself, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's rise to our feet as we give God thanks. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Thank you for your word that came today. Thank you for the impact of your word. Lord, we celebrate you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying. You are here, you are online, you want to give your life over to Jesus or rededicate your life to Jesus. Can you quickly place your hand on your chest, all eyes closed, all head bowed down. You want to say, Lord Jesus, I want to make you my Lord and my Savior. So that I begin to enjoy divine direction. It's you I'm talking about. You have not experienced that before. You want to begin to experience that. Where God will begin to direct you. Where God will begin to guide you. Where God will begin to order your step. But you know that your life is not right with God. You say, oh Jesus, I want you to be my Lord and my Savior. Quickly place your hand on your chest as I lead you in prayer. Say with me, Lord Jesus. I come before you as a sinner. I ask that you forgive me of all my sins. I believe you came in the flesh and died for me. And the third day you rose again from the dead. Seated in the right hand of power. I proclaim you today my Lord and my Savior. Write my name in the book of Lamb. And fill me with that sweet Holy Ghost. You say this prayer, you are welcome into God's family. Father, we thank you, we bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ. My prayer for you is that the journey that you have entered into you will continue until the day of his appearing. You will not fall. You will not be weary. You will not give up. Even in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. If anybody is here that made that prayer, should come forward. If you are online, reach out to us through our contact on the screen. I will be glad to help you to continue this journey even in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going straight into the communion session. Today being the 10th day of our 21 days prayer and fasting. Philippians chapter 4, chapter 1, sorry. Yeah, yeah, 
The 10 day represents perfection and it also represents completion. As you partake of today's communion, everything that concerns you shall be made perfect. Your marriage shall be perfected. Your health shall be perfected. Your spiritual life shall be made perfect. Your finances shall be perfected. Your career shall be perfected. In the name of Jesus Christ, every challenge that is affecting you, in the name of Jesus Christ, is being turned into testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Philippians 1 verse 6. Can you put down the screen? He said, being confident of this very thing. That he which had begun a good work in you. Will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. The good work that God had begun in you. This communion is a communion of performance. God will bring it to come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every dream that God has placed in your heart. Just as what ten represent. God will complete it. And perfect it in the name of Jesus Christ. There will not be miscarriage of purpose, of assignment, of destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. After today's communion, you will not be found where you are not supposed to be there. Jesus was under the leadership of the Holy Ghost all throughout his early ministry. He had never lost his way. In Psalm 32 verse 8. He said, I will guide you. Your ear will begin to hear direction. Your heart will love instruction. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not miss your place in destiny. Those that God have sent to help you, you will not run faster than them. At the juncture where your help is, you will arrive there just at the nick of time. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your helpers will find you this time around. Your husband to be will find you this time around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is lacking in your life that will make your joy complete, that is not there today. The God that perfect all things will bring completion to that area. In any area of your life, where your life where there is deficiency, as you partake of today's communion, it is what? Completion. 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 Perfection. Perfection. In the name of Jesus Christ. Families that are apart, God is bringing them together. Every agenda of darkness that is has been planted and has begun to work against you. They will not survive 12 midnight today. They will come crashing down. It is your time to receive help from above. And help will be coming speedily. Business will be multiplied. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. I declare this blessing in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Amen. Choir, give us a song. Hallelujah.
Glory be to the Lord. Alleluia. Glory be to the Lord. Alleluia. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ah, ah, ah. Glory be to the Lord. Alleluia. 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 Glory be to the Lord. Alleluia, glory be. Glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Alleluia, glory. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Everybody shout hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout hallelujah. 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 Oh, oh. Shout hallelujah, 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 eh, eh, eh. hallelujah, hallelujah, eh. somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah, eh, eh, eh. hallelujah, eh. hallelujah, eh, eh, eh. shout hallelujah, 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 eh, eh, eh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are blessed going out in the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of God goes with you, His mercies go with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight shall be your night of divine visitation in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be a night of divine visitation for somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ. God shall visit you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. And your way shall be made straight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Lord, we have partake of your flesh and your blood. Just as in your body there was no sickness and disease. Every disease and sickness that is in our body growing. Lord, by today's communion, they are declared dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your people's health is totally restored. In Jesus' mighty name. As you depart, the presence of God go with you. The mercy of God preserve you. And you wake up tomorrow refreshed and empowered. Even in Jesus' mighty name. Tomorrow, day is number 11 and it signifies enlightenment. Eleven is light. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It will be a day of light. Your eyes have been washed. Your ears have been cleaned. So when light begins to direct you, which means your path will be straight. And I see the God of light, you know, beginning to show you the right path to the place where your help is available. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Amen. Don't forget our covenant, our prayer, 530. And 6 p.m. we are meeting here tomorrow to close the day. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on my covenant highway of life. Congratulations. Amen and amen. You are blessed. See you tomorrow at the covenant of prayer.